Hey everybody, Bo here, Amazon affiliate. Check it out. I'm going to share with you this uh, lightweight, reasonably priced tripod. I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like. Now, let's get into it. So, uh, I'll tell you one thing I do like is it comes with a nice case and it's padded. Has a inside pocket, which is always great. Just keep stuff in here. Has a shoulder strap and some uh, instructions, literature. Has a ball head, and that's a really plus because you can uh, really maneuver it in any direction you want. You're not confined. It does have a little slot in the front so that you can do your... Uh, Verticals and remember verticals make uh, magazine covers Also has some levelers uh, some bubble levelers on the uh, legs One on the top which is great because when you're looking down you can line them up if you want and then it has some on the side So that's a really great plus on this tripod All right, this tripod uh, weighs uh, a little under three and a half pounds the height will go up to about six one point six inches. It'll go as low as a little uh, over eight inches. Uh, what I do like is I am a fan of these type of uh, push tabs because they're easy to break down and set up. really easy to adjust alright probably should have this a little tighter it's got a great quick release which is fantastic holds it in really well now one of the reasons that I went with this tripod is because it has a little hook down here and uh, what I like to do is I like to hang a sand, sand bag when I'm out shooting weather uh, because in weather with the wind and everything your tripod tends to move around so that's a nice point because it's the center point it really makes it super super sturdy now I'll tell you um, the one thing I don't like about this tripod is this part here is lifting it up um, you know maybe I need to put some lubricant or something but it just feels a little flimsy but on the plus side is there is nothing to come off like some of them when you raise them up it has a little um, you know thing you turn to tighten it and in my experience I've had those vibrate off if it's sitting in your car or something like that and then when you get out there you're like oh my gosh I don't have that so there's really nothing to fall off of this so that is a great plus um, the other thing I like is you can take this off okay and then you can take this completely out and you can go upside down if you want so that's great plus so you could shoot downward if you're it's endless what you could do with that I mean as far as food photography or whatever you are into these ball heads are dynamite because you can uh, move them in all kinds of directions they're very flexible so, uh, and the levels make it great because then you can make sure that you're level if you want to be. And then there is a slot here so that you can get your uh, vertical shots or even just to move it down if you want to go down that way. But overall, this is a great, reasonably priced tripod. It's lightweight, um, does everything I needed to do. I mainly got it for travel because it's lightweight. You can put it on the outside of a backpack or the case will fit in a decent sized suitcase um, and if you lose it you're not out hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, but it's really done a great job for me and um, I'm gonna say I recommend it like I said this feels a little flimsy but it's really not a big deal uh, I've never had it fail I've never had it break and um, like I say there's no parts to come off of it and that is a huge plus so there you have it Till next time, this is Bo. See ya!